Hi, this is Dr. Jenny Mitchell, and I want to take a minute to show you how to use descriptive statistics in Excel. Uh, first off, if you don't have descriptive statistics in your Excel, you can add it in by going over here to go to File, go to Options, go to Add-ins, and then on the Add-ins, I just checked them all, so we have them all added in here. When I get done, it shows up here in my Data tab. So this is the data that we want to do a data analysis on. And I'm going to click on this and you'll see that what pops up is descriptive statistics. I'm going to say OK. And what I want to do is I want to get the students and the crimes only, those two columns. I actually took in the header. So that means I have to check off label in first row. Uh, it's in columns. And then I want the output range to go right inside this uh, worksheet. I don't want it to go to a new worksheet, and that should be enough space for it. I don't need anything extra added in. This is all I need to do, and so I can say OK. Now what you'll see here, this, as you can see, this goes along with what we've been looking at um, for with this problem as we went through the mean and the median and the mode and so on. So this actually calculated the standard deviation uh, for students numbers and the standard deviation for the number of crimes. And so uh, this is just showing you how to do it. We'll go back to the text now and talk about why you would do it and what these numbers mean. But this will kind of give you an idea of well, how you can use Excel. The other thing I wanted to show you is anytime you want you can actually use some of the formulas in Excel without doing the whole descriptive statistics. If you wanted to find the mean, here's the average. Uh, average is the same as mean. Median, here's this. Um, multimodal, you're going to use uh, basically that will find all of the uh, numbers that are the same. If you just use the single mode, uh, it's only going to find the top one. Not the one with the most numbers, but the one that's the largest number in the list. So hopefully uh, this will help you at least see how to do it. Now let's talk about what this means. Thanks for listening.